introduced in the web forms, forms 9i, 10g, 11g, the integration of Java. Today I want to show you three examples how to integrate Java into your forms application. First would be Java servlet, second pluggable Java components and third Java beads. Let's start with Java servlet. A Java servlet is a Java code that is executed on the middle tier, the WebLogic server in the 11G version. It actually is imported through the Java importer into the forms builder um, and, the, and the forms the Java importer creates a PLSQL interface to the Java classes. Through this you can execute and um, access Java code on the middle tier for example to access a telephone system or any program functionality that sites on the middle tier. The second option we have are pluggable Java components. Pluggable Java components override the Oracle classes so you can create your own look and feel user interface on components that you have in forms like buttons, text items, radio groups and so on. Here we have an example that actually is a text item that conceals the first 12 characters from your credit card number. With our third part the Java Beans, it opens you the world to the complete Java technology. In your form you can integrate a bean area and in that you can place a calendar, a browser or a graph that can help you to visualize things inside of your application. For example, you can also put a card reader or a camera that's attached to your client PC and integrate this into your forms application. For example, what we have here is a drag and drop functionality where you can drag a file from the file system into your forms application and press a button to upload the file to the database. Very easy and very simple. You see, all the three options we have to integrate forms, in, uh, integrate Java into your forms application helps you to visualize and make your forms application more rich and more beautiful. If you have any questions or if you have a specific scenario you may think we can help you, please feel free to contact us.